I also wish to ask, I wish to plead with the ordinary Sinhalese people who are today protesting. For the first time in the history of this country, they are protesting not only the, not only the economic crisis, but they are protesting the way in which government and state is acting. For the first time, you have the might of the military being unleashed against them. The might of the state being unleashed against them. And they are beginning to see how dangerous, how dangerous and how disenfranchised they are in a state where politicians only think of themselves, in a state where the politicians have lied to them for decades, not just over the last two, three years, two but for minutes. decades. And where they realize that they have been robbed. They have been robbed. It is not the Northeast or the Tamil people who have been robbed. They have been robbed for 74 years. And we have been telling that to our, through our mandates given in the Northeast that we have been robbed. But today, even they, the Sinhalese people themselves, are being robbed. And that is why they are on the streets. This moment is a golden moment. This moment is a golden moment to make a change in this country that will result in a total new beginning where Sri Lanka can actually represent all its peoples, where Sri Lanka can celebrate its multiple identities as Tamil-speaking nations and a single speaking nation. That reality must not be ignored. You have for the first time this opportunity where the Tamil people are willing to support you in that change. But you must support us. Not only will we agree to the abolition of the executive presidency, member, please but wind up. you must agree, you must agree to restructure Sri Lanka, recognizing the Tamil and singular speaking nations and on federal lines. Your unitary concept is outdated. You've had it for 74 years. You've had it for the last 12 years, even after the destruction of the LTT, but you have failed using that very same state structure. For God's sake...